Hello and welcome to the next vlog. I can't believe it's been five months since the last one. Um, quite a lot's happened since then. Uh, the boats moved from uh, one marina to another and we were able to do the Leicester Ring while we did that as well. So that was lovely. Uh, Leicester's really nice. Um, it's been quite a frustrating time because in and out of lockdowns and various restrictions we've not been able to get to the boat half as much as we hoped to and the boat hasn't left the marina since we went in there in early September so it's it's been it's been frustrating um, so this is just really an update on that and I'm trying to sort of sort out bits and pieces I can still do on the boat given the limited restrictions uh, during the second lockdown we could visit but we couldn't stay overnight so there were sort of just bits you could do during the day uh, of course during this lockdown we can't visit at all so that's that's really a problem um, so I was looking for things to do and thought about bringing bits back from the boat to do so which uh, which is possible so obviously not for everything because it's, it's a big boat um, so I thought I'd start on the stern hatch now this has needed attention for quite some time um, so this sort of this video blog sort of takes you through all that uh, hopefully you find it interesting. Um, it's taken me about three weeks to sort, uh, so you know it's it's quite quite a job. So uh, enjoy. Cheers. Thank you very much for watching. So this is looking around the inside of the hatch, and you can see how tatty it is, especially in the corners where there's a little bit of water damage. Uh, the uh, draft excluders are looking a bit sad as well, so we'll sort those out. Uh, but as uh, we look towards the front, you can see the gaps of light which I need to look at especially in the middle here you can see that tiny slit and that's where the water comes in I'm suspecting. Now this is the outside of the boat and you can see that there's a gap highlighted here and I think the rain is hitting the, the uh, top of the boat and splashing underneath here and coming into the hatch so that's one thing that I need to look at. And you can see here uh, how much damage it's actually doing which uh, is not very good. <laughs> So on the outside of the boat here, I'm going around uh, looking at it, just trying to measure up, see what I need to be aware of. And uh, it's uh, there's a few gaps here that I'm sort of looking at on each side, uh, which I'm measuring, and then sort of looking around the middle. This is the bit of concern. So as you look along, you can see how it comes down, and then it goes back up again. And I'm pretty sure this is where I need to look. So here you see my marvellous plan. I uh, got an old pallet, uh, cut it up, uh, made it into the size for the uh, hatch, put some plastic on, bolted it down. What could possibly go wrong? Uh, it's uh, not ideal, but uh, it should uh, do the trick while I have got the hatch back at home. Um, actually, it did prove to be quite effective uh, and only let in a little bit of water after all that. So uh, I was well pleased. So back at home, uh, needed to uh, take off the brackets, uh, which were holding on the uh, back cover. They just kept rusting, so these pop uh, studs were rubbish, so I just removed those with the, uh, the drill. Um, I got the company back a couple of times to change them, but uh, every time they came back, they just put more pop studs in, so I thought we'd, uh, we'd change these. So this is the underside of the uh, lid and I'm taking off all the multi layers of ply board which uh, were just soggy and a complete mess. Uh, it took ages to get these off. I sort of held on with some sort of rubber sealant uh, so I had to get a bit forceful in the end but uh, it, uh, it started to come away. After all the ply board, there's the last uh, bit which is like thicker wood which is held on with, uh, with the rubber. Uh, this stuff was absolutely soggy uh, and it hadn't rained for about a week or so so it's obviously uh, been gathering there for a while. I mean probably a little bit of condensation as well because I don't think it's a very good thermal barrier um, to say the least. 
So we're getting there now. It looks a little bit like a war zone, uh, but uh, definitely removing all the bits and pieces. You can see there, there's some bolts stood up. Um, there were four bolts uh, originally. One of them had rusted away and came off though, uh, but these um, stayed strong. So uh, I decided to keep them rather than to put any new ones on uh, since they, uh, they're they all in the right place. Uh, so yeah, so that worked out very well indeed. So you can see the top here with all the uh, the ends of the bolts exposed where the uh, the rust was uh, that's where the uh, the clips were to hold the cover on and uh, progress so far underneath uh, still a bit more to go it uh, it took me about a day to get all that off um, but yeah so it's uh, it, it it took uh, it took me a while so pretty much all the rubber's gone which was awful there you see the three bolts left uh, so yeah, so just uh, final bits to get rid of and uh, job's good and we can move on. So that's most of the prep done. Uh, you can see uh, the rust bits uh, that are left on here and what I need to treat on the, uh, the inside with the bolts at the top. Uh, so that's what we've got to work with. So uh, let's see how we get on. Right, these are just pictures I'm afraid. So this is the uh, the top side with the isopon um, covering on it. Then I vac tanned the underside and painted it in the first coat of green. Uh, then with hardwood runners that I've uh, glued on to the sides. And there's one of them on there. Um, yeah, that came up really nice in the end. Uh, and there's all of it with the, uh, the handle back on as well. And uh, there's the insulation. Now that was really good. I got this from Wix and it's 6mm thick, um, it's quite solid on the outside with foam on the inside and it works really well and it's really easy to fit as well and it's quite solid. And this is what it looks like fitted. Um, I was able to cut it with a Stanley knife and build it up so that it's actually flat so that it covers the curve of it so it works really well uh, and uh, it will make it easier to fit as well I think. And so to the painting. Um, I'd uh, drilled the holes in the uh, back of the, uh, the lid, ready to take uh, a rubber skirt uh, to stop the water. Uh, also uh, used uh, self-tappers to um, sort of drill out uh, ready for the back cover. Uh, I've not used that before, so that would be interesting. I uh, hope to use some um, stainless steel um, bolts on that. Uh, yeah, so I put three coats on, uh, seemed to go okay, it's the usual way that uh, you do it on narrowboats with a roller and then uh, lay it off with a brush, um, seemed to go on really well, um, very odd doing this in my front room though, uh, because it was cold outside and obviously you need to sort of do it well, the uh, the temperatures are pretty, pretty good so you're not going to get any dew or anything like that, so yeah, so here we go, so um, seemed to go okay with three coats and uh, I was quite pleased with the result anyway. And voila, there you go. So uh, that uh, certainly comes up with a shine anyway, so I was really chuffed with that. Uh, my first go of painting, so uh, doubly uh, chuffed since I'll be doing more painting on the boat later on. So back to the boat. I thought I'd video just around the top of the hatch, uh, mainly for my own reference so I can see how things fit. Um, but yeah, you can see the uh, the lip there with the rust on top, so it has obviously been getting wet at some point. Um, yeah, the drainage holes I've started making bigger, so I will clean those up because obviously part of the problem could be the water not getting way fast enough when we get these torrential downpours. Just as an aside, I've uh, discovered Brasso. Uh, I know it's a staple for most boats, boaters, but uh, I've not used it before, but uh, I certainly will do. <laughs> and here is the rubber skirt all bolted in. Uh, you can see how it covers the lip, so uh, hopefully that should stop any, uh, any further splashes going under. Uh, really pleased. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to come back with another vlog as soon as possible. Uh, but in the meantime, stay safe and uh, see you soon. Bye bye.